right from the beginning of Think 101. We've given you example after example of how difficult it is for you, for us, to make sense of the world. We're inundated with information, misinformation, and there are many different ways that it can be interpreted. We see patterns where none exist, we see relationships where there are none, and we see, hear, and remember things that never happened. In order to make sense of the world, we have to rely on simplified models or heuristics that we talked about before. This is the area of System 1, which is also very lazy. And so, relying on System 1, we also uh, do so at our own peril. And there are a lot of mistakes and fallacies that we can make as a result. We've talked about the availability heuristic. We're completely at the whim of the media when it comes to shaping how common or how risky we think things are. We tend to pigeonhole people, depending on uh, how similar they are to our stereotypes. We're sensitive to anchors. We tend not to unpack or read things as carefully as we should. So we're trying to provide you with the tools in this course to be able to improve your everyday thinking. We've given you the tools to think better tips for avoiding fallacies, techniques for learning and retaining information. We've identified the factors that are important, useful and predictive. And we've told you where to find evidence to distinguish fact from fiction. Now, you are one of the very few people on the planet with this knowledge. You now have a better understanding of how the mind works than most judges, lawyers, politicians and even most scientists. Now we've given you the tools to think better. We want you to use those tools to do better. So we want you to think about what you can do to make the world smarter, more rational, less superstitious. So look around you and see what's broken and exactly what you can do to fix it. How can you increase rationality in the world? What can you do in your life, in your job, to convince people to slow down, to consider the evidence? The next time you see a claim that strikes you as dodgy or strange, or the next time you or a friend are complaining about something, Ask yourself, respond with, okay, what are we going to do about it? Does your company use personality tests or interviews? What are you going to do about it? How do you uh, convince your child to read? How do you convince a classroom full of children to read? How do you increase the literacy rates of your entire country? If there's a change that you want to see, what are you going to do to make it happen? Throughout the course, we've given you the tools to be able to change the world. Now it's up to you to use them. We want you to tell us, to show us, to share with the thousands of people who are taking this course what you're going to do to change the world.